So I am four days postpartum and I just wanted to walk you through what a day in the life is like right now. So just ate some lunch, took a shower, because if you are familiar with the postpartum, postpartum sweats is a big thing. And so it just helps to feel a little bit more refreshed. And then something else that happens in the postpartum is uh, your body odor gets pretty significant. I think it's because it helps your baby find you, which I'm right here. You don't have to make me smell bad. I found that primarily Pure's deodorant is really helpful for me to not smell like garbage. So if you want to check them out, check them out. But there's other deodorants I'm sure that works just as fine. This is just like my preference. After I get out the shower, I'm gonna do my peri here. And this is the same thing that I do after I get on the toilet. So whenever I use the restroom, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse off with a peri bottle. I like these angled bottles because then I don't have to do gymnastics in the bathroom to try to rinse off down there. You don't really wanna be like wiping with like paper or toilet paper and stuff immediately postpartum because it's a little sensitive. And so you can use a peri bottle to rinse off and then you can pat dry. After the peri bottle, I like to put on a perineal spray and there's so many different ones out there. This one's from Mother Love. It's just a brand that I've really liked. I'll spray that on. And then depending on how early postpartum you are, you can get your diaper or your pad set up. So I prefer to wear like adult underwear or diapers postpartum because I feel like they're just easier to come on. I feel like the pads move around, but again, it's just your personal preference. I like the diapers. Within the diapers though, you can kind of set up things a little bit different depending on how early postpartum you are. If you're within like the first 24 hours, you can put an ice pack down to kind of help with soothing. But after about 24 hours, maybe no more than 40, you don't really need ice packs. So don't stock up too much on those ice packs. If you're giving birth in a hospital, they'll have plenty for you. So it would not be something that I would invest in. Depending on if you had any tears, you may find like a numbing foam or a perineal foam is really nice. And you'll just actually just put this directly onto your pad or your diaper, and then you'll put the diaper on. If you've had any stitches or anything kind of going on down there that has like a little bit of scabbing, you may find that a perineal balm is like really nice about like a week or two postpartum as that skin is starting to heal because it can get really itchy or kind of like stick to stuff. So I've been finding a perineal balm to be really beneficial for anything like that as well. I didn't tear in this last birth, so I just kind of had this stuff on hand just in case, but fortunately I haven't really been needing to use it. After I got my diaper on, I got whatever I'm putting onto my perineum. I have these bloomers, which are a compressive garment that applies gentle compression against my perineum and my belly to help with healing. This one's from Balbe. It's called the Balbe Bloomer, and it's a little bit thick, but not like super thick, but it provides like really gentle compression to help with blood flow, lymph flow, and just to provide like a little bit of support. And it has the perineal support, which is really nice. So it's kind of lifting from the bottom up to provide that support to my pelvic floor. You don't wanna get a belly band that's like really tight, like with an attempt to like try to bring the abs back together or like shrink your waist, cause it's gonna put a lot of downward pressure onto the pelvic floor, which could cause more issues. So I find that the bloomers are really nice cause it's providing that gentle compression and support, but it's not super tight. Cause again, I'm not trying to shrink my waist. I'm not trying to heal my diastasis. I'm just trying to provide some support and help to increase blood flow to help with healing. I don't wear this all day, but I will wear it throughout the day, especially if I'm gonna be like getting in and out of bed a little bit more often, just because it feels a little bit more comfortable. Now all of my pericare stuff I have just in this basket that I keep right by the toilet. So it has more diapers, the angled peri bottles, all the sprays and stuff. And then I just have it sitting right there. So whenever I use the bathroom, it's right there for me. I don't have to look for it, I don't have to dig for it. And then the only thing that I have to remember is to refill the peri bottle because sometimes it runs out and then I'm sitting on the toilet and I don't have any water to use. So that's kind of how I am getting ready for my day of laying in bed. I've still got about another day or so of just resting in bed doing some gentle mobility and breathing exercise in bed, just lots of nursing and bonding with baby. And then in the next few days, I'll start kind of moving around my house a little bit more, not too much though, and just really monitoring for bleeding. If I notice an increased bleeding, that can be a good sign that, or a bad sign that I'm doing too much and I should really increase my rest. But so far, everything's looking really good. Bleeding is coming down. My milk has come in. Baby is nursing really well. And yeah. So if you want to follow more of my postpartum journey, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you get notified whenever we release new videos. I'll be sharing more vlogs about 
what this journey is like to help kind of normalize this experience. If you want more support in your postpartum, we have our free early postpartum recovery course. That is a four-week course with some gentle breathing drills, mobility, gentle core exercises to kind of help guide you in the first four to six weeks postpartum. Four to six weeks is too long to do absolutely nothing in regards to reconnecting with our core and our pelvic floor, but it's also too short to be running back to the gym and starting structured exercise. And so our program is designed to help kind of just gently guide you through the first few weeks with some really like loose to follow movements, just help you feel comfortable and reconnecting with your core and pelvic floor. And it's a free course and we'll link it down below. After that, you can move it to our postpartum return to fitness programs and we offer them in two main formats. We have our app-based program, which is gonna be self-paced workouts. And then we have follow along workout videos that I'm gonna be refilming this fall with baby girl to update the programming. And so you can check out all of our postpartum fitness programs and all of our online offerings on our website at mamastayfit.com and use code YouTube10 to get 10% off. So thanks so much for following my journey. I can't wait to share more with you.